Hi there, I am Sahil Rastogi, a senior firmware engineer here at Avishka. In this video, we are going to see that how we can use MakerBoard Simulator with AMS AI. Now for this example, we are going to select code with artificial intelligence. Select MakerBoard 2.0 from this list. Now when the AMS window opens up, you can see that your camera window also appears over here. Just below it, you have the option to configure your AI model. When you click on configure AI model, you are welcomed with four options. The first one is images. Use this option if you want to train your model purely on the basis of the images captured. The second is hand pose. Use this option if you want to train your model based on the key points of your hands. Third one is pose net. This model can detect body poses. So use this option if you want to train the model based on the key points from the poses of your body. And the fourth option is face mesh which is used to train a model based on your facial features and face key points. For this example, we are going to select hand pose. Once the model is loaded, you have to give it some name. So let's say hand pose 1 and click on save button. You have to give a label. So labels are basically how you want to identify the different poses. So for this model, I'm going to train it to detect this as 1, this as 2, this as 3, and this as 4. So my first label is going to be 1. Click on save. And now when I bring my hand into the frame, you can see that the AMS automatically detects my hands, draws certain key points, and connects them using these green lines. Now to record the frames or to capture the frames, you have two options. The first one is this image option. Use this option if you want to catch uh, individual frames. So for example, when I click on capture, you can see that it captures just when I click on this button. You can clear the frames using this clear all button. The second option that we are going to use for this video is the video option. Now you have a few settings. Uh, the first option is your uh, FPS, which is currently set to 10. So FPS means frames per second, that how many frames do you want to capture in one second. The second option is delay. How many seconds do you want to wait before the, before the AMS actually you know, starts the recording process. And the third option is duration. So for how many seconds do you want it to actually capture the frames? So 10 FPS for 6 seconds means it's going to capture 60 frames. Now let's click on start recording. Now I'm just going to move my hand around a little. And you can see the recording process is done and you can see 60 frames over here. Now similarly, I'm going to create another label name it 2 and start capturing. Another label, I'm going to name it 3, save and capture again. Another label, I'm going to name it 4, save and start capturing again. Once you have captured all the frames, just click on train model button. And a pop-up appears showing the progress of the training method. Once the training is completed, you can click on test model to see how your model is performing. Now, as you can see, when I show it one, it shows 100% on one, 100% on two, 100% on three. I can even move my hand around and you can see that it does not change. And then when I show four, it shows 100% on four. And you can either download this model and click on download
after downloading you can actually use this model uh, in a different project also and now I'm going to click close Once your model is trained, we can actually create a program and use this model in our program. So, we are going to create a program in which we are going to use our hand poses 1, 2, 3 and 4 to change the pattern on the MakerBoard matrix. Now, let's start with a My Program block, a Repeat While block and then an If block. We'll get this equal to block from control section and for the AI label that is being detected by the model we have this AI label block so if AI label equals to 1 we want to show a pattern so drag a show pattern block so we are going to uh, let it be snake now I am going to modify my if block for 3 more else if blocks duplicate this so if AI label equals to 2 we want to show another pattern let's say duck if AI label equals to 3 we are going to show another pattern let's say this up arrow and if AI label equals to 4 we are going to show another pattern let's say this path now we are going to save this project once your project is saved you can run it using this play button over here now when I click on play you can see when I show one I can see snake pattern on the matrix when I show two I can see the duck pattern on the matrix when I show 3 I can see the up arrow pattern on the matrix and when I show 4 you can see the heart pattern on the matrix now if you want to stop this simulation just click on this reset button and your simulation will stop thank you for watching this video I hope this video will be helpful for you to get started with ANSKI if you have any doubts feel free to reach out to us in the comment section below or contact us at support at avishkar.cc Thank you.